And tonight's donations coming in to help a family of a Lancaster County girl who was discovered murdered in her Columbia home. Thanks for joining us tonight for Fox 43 News at 10. I'm Evan Forrester. Efforts in Columbia and the surrounding area of Lancaster County well underway tonight to support a grieving family. Fox 43's Logan Perone joins us live from Lancaster County tonight with how people are responding with help. Evan, this incident has left many in this community heartbroken, and tonight the boys' high school basketball team was doing their part to help during tonight's playoff game. One team, one town, one family. Following the tragic loss of a 7th grade student, the Columbia community coming together. 12-year-old Elena Smith played on the Columbia Girls Middle School basketball team. All of the donations are from... Uh, it's actually authored from our boys and girls basketball team and our booster club. Basketball family tipping off that support with a $500 donation. It was all mutual. So the uh, coaches, players, and boosters, they all came together and said this is something that we want to do uh, in support of her and all of her family. 50% of concession sales from Monday night's game going directly to the family. We're always one, we're one team, um, and we love our community, so we're going to do anything and everything possible to you know support our family. Support coming in from outside the community as well. In a statement, the school district said in part, we have received offers of support from local authorities, community groups, and neighboring school districts for which we are grateful. Elena's family says those who want to help can reach them at this email. And Logan, as we learn about the community stepping up, we're also learning a bit more about the man sitting in jail tonight accused of taking her life. Yeah, Evan, that is Justin Shockford, the 39-year-old arrested by East Lambert Township Police on Friday. Police say he admitted to raping and killing Elena Smith, who was Shackleford's ex-girlfriend's daughter. Now, the Lancaster County Coroner's Office, they released the cause of death. That was strangulation. Court documents show Shackleford also had a history of simple assault and terroristic threat charges. Those records also reveal the victim's mother had a temporary protection order of abuse or a protection from abuse order against Shackleford in 2020. Now, Shackleford was arraigned today in court. He is currently held in the Lancaster County Prison. Live in Columbia, Logan Perone, Fox 43 News.